everybody, this is TCP Toys back here for another review. Today we're gonna be taking a look at DC. Oh shit, my light just went out. Ew. So today we're gonna be looking at Mongol, one of Superman villains. And you probably wonder why do I have Mongol like this bottom corner? Well, He's goddamn big. That's what it is. And I like it. How big he is. Pause. But anywho, so um Amazon today. Amazon sent me the picture of him and of course Talon. Which this will not be an unboxing video. I will just have him out posed up in a review. And hopefully I'll take some pictures with this guy. I have a lot of pictures to edit with my figs, but it was nothing about that. I got him. Um, I've seen a lot of people did reviews about this guy, and he's taller, which is good. So he's on that 12 inch mark. Um, this is my first mega fig in my collection and my first mega fig review. So without rambling, we're gonna get this guy. Open up and whoop bam. So you can see Mongol Superman villains, DC multiverse, yada yada. And you can see Mongol in his I don't know if this is his rebirth suit. I think it is his rebirth suit. This cannot be his new 52 <laughs> new 52 suit look because it's more new 52. But this I probably this probably is his rebirth suit. But yeah. I'm going to get this guy open up, and yeah, we're going to be taking a look at Mongol, one of Superman slash Justice League villains. So, here's Mongol out of the package. So, I'm going to put a picture up of the card. Well, bam. You can pause and read, you know, if you want to read his bio. Or, actually, I'm going to tell you anyway. But, anywho, the card, and then, yeah. So, the day I'm recording this video... Is the day when I got the package. So this may be up. I don't know when. Because I just be busy a lot at work. And I really hardly have time to edit my photos. And more of my cars. Recreations as well. So it's been a lot of busy stuff. And I am starting my own clothing line as well. So yeah. This is a lot going on. But yeah. So anywho. <laughs> Mongol. His backstory is where he's like a think of him like Dark Side, but he's similar to Dark Side. And basically he's like one of the last of his kind, basically, of his race. And like his planet, he's ruler of the war 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 war, war ugh, I can't it's war world. War World. So it basically is a planet. A planet that has like weapons basically. Um, watch Young Justice. Because they explain his backstory. And the planet as well. And basically it's like a, a nuclear planet that something was going. Like it was a nuclear planet where in Young Justice... They, the plan he was trying to do, he was trying to do is, you know, kill the population of Earth. You know, nuke Earth because the reach was there. And stuff. watch that season of season two. But first watch season one, then watch season two. Then that as well. He, and he also was on Justice League Unlimited. And I don't know, he was on regular Justice League. The anime series, um, but Mongo, he's he's that guy, like he's that mf -er, bro. He will Superman's ass as well. <laughs> so yeah, and he is a badass figure, very tall. Does have double jointed knees actually, single jointed um. Elbows, but you know, since it's a gauntlet, I wish the gauntlets they made was like a silver paint like this. That would be so cool. But I will put a picture. I don't know what, 
which comic book it is because I never seen this comic book style of Mongo before. I will put a regular picture of Mongo, but I never seen this. And like I said before, um, his head sculpt, like, he looked like he got affected by Venom. Like, really. I think I'm the only person who said that, actually. But it looks cool, but creepy at the same time. But, um, yeah. I like how they made him really detailed. I like how he... His skin is like in, in the show. Like if you watch Justice League and Justice League Unlimited and Young Justice, his skin looks so much like it. Like this crusty. I love this mega fig. Um, he doesn't have a torso. Well, he do have a torso, but it's very limited. So yeah, he doesn't have like an ab crunch. He's got a torso, you know. Do do. Um. He can look up just a little bit. He can look down just a little bit. Um, he, you know, he, you know, Mifron, he got the toe articulations and then the, you know, the rockers, stuff like that. I like the paint they did to, you know, Mongol. Um, overall, he is a good figure. Um, if you are collecting Mifron toys, DC Multiverse, and you try to build up your super super man villains slash Justice League villains. Well, this is the guy for you. Yeah. And I recommend this figure. I thank God I really did hop on this figure because I missed out on so many good mega things I was about to get. And I was thinking about getting Bane, but Bane is really fucking expensive. On Amazon, one twenty for a mega fig, and he is also taller than um um Melo is actually also taller than Bane. So once I get Bane, hopefully soon, everything is just yeah. But I'm really am catching up all my figs for um for 2022 and stuff. But at that end of the video, I would do size comparison with Superman and Mongo. I'll be right back. Here's the size comparison between Mongo and Superman Raver. I really do like this size comparison. Especially when you look at this guy in person. Especially, it, it, it's fucking mind-blowing. Um, I wish we got a new Superman um, body mode. Because the Hush, of course, the Blue Very Hush Batman is taller than all of this Superman body mode which i hate about it i really do hate about it but i will be going on on part two of the crime scene kit which i get, finally got all man and powering and i will just go on a rant about the about the body mode for this one because it's it's really terrible like it's out of scale you know it's 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 too much but anywho this is the end of review of Mongo Rule of War World. And yeah, this is TCB Toys with another toy review.